have you take some bites that you're gonna dream about. Wow, incredible. Nice. And the trick about the onion. Sam, thanks for taking us here. Absolutely. <laughs> I think it's uh, supposed to be in the Louvre in Paris, huh? in the museum. <laughs> Okay, so this video is gonna be a bit different because Maddie has a bit of a cold. She basically has no voice at all. Hello. We are making our way now to the Carmel Market. It's the oldest and biggest market in the city of Tel Aviv. It's over a hundred years old. We're gonna meet up with a local there. He is originally from Austin, Texas. So we will definitely greet him with a nice howdy. We are super, super excited for the food because I think we fell, already fell in love with Israeli food. And now to also experience it here with the local in Tel Aviv is gonna be a blast. Let's meet up with Sam and enjoy some nice Israeli food. Let's go. Howdy. <laughs> Good, how are you? Hi. Welcome to Tel Aviv. My name is Sam. I'm going to be your guide today, leading you through this market, which to me, it's, it's the heartbeat. It's the lifeblood of the city. We take you not to you know, the touristy spots at the market where you're gonna have to wait in line for everybody, but you know, to the hidden spots. Have you take some bites that you're gonna dream about when you go back home? This sounds amazing. We all know that's why we're here for, for the hidden places. Let's just go into the market and experience the best food of Israel. Let's go. What a coincidence, huh? We already know this place from Jerusalem and Maddie has a cold, so he's gonna get a treatment from the medicine man again, huh? Bit of the history to this place. So Tel Aviv and the Carmel Market are not really old places. Tel Aviv is around 120, 130 years old. There is a much older city to the south, which is called Jaffa. And back in the days when around us here, there was just desert and the sea and a bit of swampland, the people, they needed to go to Jaffa to get their groceries. When Gemini's settlers decided this is a bit inconvenient, they decided to settle around here and open actually this market. Still, the Gemonite roots you can feel in this market. And what we're gonna do first is take a visit to the Etrog man. He is a Gemonite who opened this place and we're gonna check it out. Now everything is getting better. Welcome to Uzi Eli. It is the name of this man up here, so adorably depicted in this cartoon. He arrived to Israel about 60 years ago and he brought with him so much knowledge of the natural world. Let's get you healthy, girl, huh? So this is what's gonna cure you. Turmeric, ginger, cayenne pepper oil. The cayenne. The cayenne. Nice. Definitely a bit spicy, you know what? I'm a spice lord, so I'm okay with it. Maddie, how, how are you feeling? Good. Very nice. And so we're getting there. The progress of healing Maddie is at 50% now, so. Gonna take it all the way. These are a couple of drinks I wanted to share with you guys today. We have the Etrogat, the green juice. L'chaim. This is our coconut passion fruit. L'chaim. This is amazing, huh? Once it gets to summer and you know it's beach season again, I'm gonna buy a bottle of this, a little bit of rum, and take it to the beach. Oh yeah. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, after our semi-successful attempt to cure Maddie, It's getting better. We're gonna make our way into the market to experience the incredible food. Are you hungry? Oh yeah, let's go. We are here at Ben Shel Hasuri Chumusia. We have a lot of religions here in Israel, including hummus. We have a couple of ways to eat hummus. You can go around the rim. You can go down the middle, which we call Moses parting the Red Sea. <laughs> this is kind of a more advanced method. You can do the claw and you just give it a pinch. But I really don't want you guys to fill up on bread so early, so forget the pita. So what we do here in Israel, and at just about any hummusia, you're gonna see this, you can take the onion and scoop the hummus. And the trick about the onion is that the more hummus you get on the onion, is the less oniony that it's gonna taste. Mm. This is the hummus I've been waiting for. Guys, please dig in. Let's eat some hummus. Yes. Yes. yes, yes Sounds yes, amazing. Yes. Wow, incredible. 
Sam, thanks for taking us here. Absolutely. <laughs> so we have this special uh, hot sauce here. It's called Shruk. This place has a Syrian background, so it might be a Syrian interpretation of the originally Gemonite Shruk. And yeah, let's try this falafel in the sauce. You know, I'm a fan of hot sauce. Mm. It's spicy, it's hot, it's not too much. It's a nice, it's a nice compliment to the, to the falafel. I love it. Okay, seriously, this has been the best hummus that we've ever had in our entire life. This really hit the spot. And as usual, we are putting all of the locations in our do-it-yourself food tour guide. Download the guide and also have a great food experience here in Tel Aviv. Here go. Have you heard of Sabich before? It's one of the only actual Israeli foods. I'll tell you why. In the 1950s, there was an Iraqi immigrant to Israel. The wife is making him a beautiful Iraqi breakfast. He was like, oh my god, babe, I'm running late for work. Um, I can't sit here and eat this amazing, beautiful breakfast that you made for me. But I'm not going to let it go to waste. So um, let's just put it, I'll, we're in Israel, so I'll take it and we'll put it in a pita and I'll eat it at work. You know, one hand on the sandwich, one hand on the wheel. But as a bus driver, he had people coming in and out of the bus. What is it? I've never seen it before in my life. And he made something up. He's like, oh, it's a, it's a sabich. And this is one of the only foods that is invented right here in Israel. This is the most beautiful things, I think. It is one of the most famous sandwiches here in Israel. Let it speak for itself. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. It looks fantastic. It looks like a piece of art. Almost like I don't want to destroy it. It's just incredible. The fresh herbs, the sauce, the eggplant, the whole pita, it's incredible. I think it's uh, supposed to be in the Louvre in Paris, huh? in the museum. <laughs> Take my friend. So after this incredible, incredible pita, we're making our way now to the Yemenite quarter. We already learned a bit about the Yemenite history, that they came here to this place to settle and to open up the market. And now let's get way deeper into the Yemenite quarter and see what delicious things we can find there. Let's go. The queen of the Shuk, and her name is Irit. Irit! Oh wow. Be ready to meet the queen of the Shuk. We're gonna have a special Yemenite bread called lahu. If you've ever had Ethiopian food, it looks kind of like injera with the, the holes and the bubbles in it. It's a little bit fermented. Very simple, just a few ingredients. Water, flour, yeast, fenugreek, and... Love, love, love. A lot of love. Love, love. A lot of love. So you marry or what? I love her so much. This is lahu, the savory Yemenite bread. So this is the famous lachuk from the mother of the shuk. So you want to do the fresh tomato sauce on here and then just dig it. Wow, I could eat this all day. It's really good. Wow, I love it. I guess we would have never found this place without the help of Sam. Again, he brings us to all the good places. This is just awesome, it's incredible. Lachaim! Okay, after this heartwarming and incredible experience of the mother of the Shuk, finally, let's get into the market. Let's go. Guys, welcome to the Shuk. We've been exploring the Yemenite quarter a lot. Now it is time to experience the main thoroughfare of Shuka Carmel. So, let's enjoy the sights, the smells, and the sounds of the Carmel market. Sounds like a plan, let's go.
They are a Moroccan donut and they're sweet, they're really nice. Everybody loves fried doughs. Fried sweets are the best. Like a donut is a bit more sticky dough. There's just more to it than to a regular donut. It's just better. I don't know. Israeli food is just better, I guess. Malawach is another Yemeni bread, kind of like the lahuk we had at Eritz, but it's different. Okay. Everything here is amazing. Everything here is amazing. Mm. I love it. Mm. Kind of makes me want to dance and sing. <laughs> this city is wild, man. It's cold, it's crispy, creamy, it's salty, it's savory. It's so many different experiences in one bite. The best way to do it, take your fork, get some of this ice cream. Mmm, that's amazing. This is incredible again. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's just, oh my god. Just crazy. Now, if you guys can turn the camera on yourselves, I need to ask, what was your favorite or your most memorable bite of the day? Because sometimes it's hard to pick a favorite. Wanna start? Yeah. So most memorable? Definitely the queen of the shook. Oh yeah. Because she was the best. So she needs a new husband. If you live in Tel Aviv, <laughs> come here. And the most memorable food. Memorable food. Really Everything good. good right? Really good hummus. That's something I can just dream about in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me, it was definitely the sabiche. That was really good. But in general, everything, the whole tour was, was memorable, it's right? It, it's really hard to pick because everything is better than the other and the other way around, and it's just crazy to decide. If you have the chance, come to Israel, come to Tel Aviv, do the food tour with delicious Israel. It's just amazing. It's the best. Yeah, yes. it is. So we're gonna end this, huh? With some really good, really coffee. good coffee. As you know us. Enjoy. L'chaim. 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 So this has been the amazing food tour here in Tel Aviv in Israel. The food was absolutely incredible that we again decided to put all of the information you need into a guide with all of the locations and the Google Maps and everything you need. It's linked down below. And yeah, download it and enjoy the food for yourself. See you in the next one. Bye. I love to talk. I can't talk. It's just like the worst thing. I sound like a broken guitar. We're gonna tune you. She loves my voice. She actually says sexy. Yeah, it's very sexy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, been awesome. Don't worry! I'm a little worried. <laughs> She's the best. Hey, hey! Stop! Wait a minute. Julia!